Canterbury Nursing and Rehab is celebrating their latest memory cottage with an upcoming open house. And to tell us more, we have Carrie and Savannah. And uh, this sounds like this is going to be a, a fun and informational event. It's going to be very exciting. Um, it is, when is it, Savannah? It is May 24th from 5.30 to 7. And it's going to be our men's memory care unit. Okay. We're inviting people from the community, other um, skilled nursing facilities, um, assisted livings, and then even current people that are taking care of mom or dad. Um, we have two cottages, but this is just for the male. Um, so that caregiver that's at home taking care of dad, um, please come in and, and see us. And so uh, if people are going to be able to learn I guess what, the, the latest, the greatest? I mean, because you've, you've built this specifically with memory care in mind. We did. Um, it is for dementia and Alzheimer's patients, uh, specifically in men. Um, our women's cottage is already open, um, so we're doing some other education as well. We're going to be doing our uh, memory care support group. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be May the 17th um, from 5.30 to 6.30. Um, it's going to be something for the community, whether it's a caregiver at home that is taking care of mom or dad, um, our current residents and staff members that you know mom and dad have or grandparent have the diagnosis of dementia or Alzheimer's um, it's a kind of a tricky disease uh, the process can be um, very traumatic on a family and there's a lot of questions a lot of unanswered um, things so my memory care facilitator is going to be uh, doing that for us at Canterbury. Do you find that people who uh, you know end up caring for mom or dad and they have the best of intentions and, and just finally hits gets to that point where it's just too much is there is the point usually the same point for everybody or is it different yes and no there's 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 different stages in the uh, dementia process um, so a lot of times it's just finding that facility that has memory care and coming in and seeing um, Savannah or I or mm -hmm. anybody in the facility um, taking a tour having questions um, any kind of questions that you have talking to our memory care facilitator um, and getting all of that uh, information from us um, as your go-to uh, through that process. We've talked before, uh, remind folks if they didn't hear or never heard the explanation, why memory care separate men from the women, not always, but often. A lot of times, um, men and women, um, they can be uncomfortable with each other. Um, you have a woman that was had a past with a male, or you have a male that is very dominant and um, could be uh, mean to a female. Mm -hmm. There's behaviors as well that they trigger and they feed off of each other. So the separation and the programming on both of the cottages are very different. Um, it's individualized. Um, um, training for uh, and and programs that are specifically for that patient mm -hmm. whether they're a nurse or whatever their past may be we really work hard with the families to program whatever they need for a day-to-day -day basis right to see yeah. them connect savannah you've been awfully quiet over there you want to explain what you do uh <laughs> i am admissions coordinator right. i do all the internal admissions so she markets and then i bring them in and do the paperwork with them and and it has to be rewarding, though, to see people finally, uh, you know, the families finally get that, that break after caring for mom or dad or grandma or grandpa for so long. Absolutely. And I, th I truly believe it's very emotional for families. Um, sometimes it can take six months to, you know, bring somebody in. But to have someone as us as a go-to to, to kind of get that information as far as moving forward with mom and dad, we, you know, we partner with the Alzheimer's Association as well. So they're very aware of what we do um, with our programming back there. So it's it can be be a, a process for mm -hmm. sure for family members and the support group we should make clear that's that's a, well so is the open house everything is open for the entire community uh, anyone absolute, watching this. absolutely it's for um, anyone that wants to come in like I said our first one is May 17th that's at 5:30 to 6:30 um, please come in and see us any questions that you have um, absolutely come in if you'd like to find out more uh, you can give them a call uh, the number on the screen may uh, roll up or we'll uh, tell you it's 260-492-1400 uh, 260-492 1400. We will be right back on Insight.